Hello, my name is Marcel, uh, Marcel Debien. I'm here to show you how I can progress on this painting that I'm planning to do a demonstration very soon. So it has been a little bit of planning because the painting had to dry and I'm working on three layers and I'm doing the second layer and I'm a little over two weeks before the demonstration. What I'm doing today will be dry for the demonstration because that demonstration I want it to be more about glazing. Now, I want you to see what's happening on the palette here. I've got my colors out because uh, I'm going to use a very minimal amount of colors today because the amazing colors that are going to happen will be on the layer number three when I do the glazing. I'm going to start from the top and at that top area here, it's going to be light and yellow I'm, I'm planning ahead where it's going to be quite bright here in the in the last stage so what i'm going to do i'm always wonder am i going to use the venetian or the flemish method so the venetian method is more like working everywhere and mixing on the on the canvas the flemish is the one where i should prepare a few tones in advance so it's going to be a hybrid because I'm going to prepare a few tones, but it's not going to be full on uh, many tones like most uh, Flemish technique artists do. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you what happened. What happened with this? As you can see, it's quite rough. It, it, is, <laughs> it is rough because I followed the technique of the wash. Like if you've been doing watercolor before, uh, you will find that uh, you have to use the the white from the background for the light um, so i've done that but with ivory black so i didn't put any white in it i just diluted and diluted until i got the white showing through from the canvas here uh, so that's why it looks a bit rough because you don't have that smooth finish when you put white in it and it's slow to dry it was quite fast to dry actually a few hours and the next morning it was completely dry so that was great but because I wanted to have just a tonal value of what I'm going to do because there's so many, there's so much happening here. Uh, I didn't want to start with an opaque layer on nothing and just some people like to start on a good drawing. Uh, I had a drawing with charcoal as you can see here quite roughly but my drawing was set really from the wash. So that's what I've done. Uh, a couple of weeks ago now it's well dry so I'm going to keep those one untouched and I'm going to work only in that section okay colors so one two three four and I'm going to use pure white when I need it so that's Five. Everything gets stiff as I keep adding new colors, so just have to keep adjusting it. I'm not going transparent, I'm going opaque. That's layer number two. Layer number two is where it's the body, it's the body of the paint. It has to be solid and opaque so what you see there is going to disappear completely underneath my color so that's my dark that's my darkest so it looks a little bit like patchwork when you start that way but you'll see how it's going to transform very quickly when i start merging everything and this one it's good because I already have my tonal work so I only I don't have to think oh where is this tone going because I've already have a start that I did with the uh, the wash and that's very useful uh, sometimes people think uh, am I am I wasting time doing a wash first because you're kind of doing it twice but no you don't you don't waste time you save so much time not having to think where is everything because that's why it took me took me a bit of time when I started it because at first I started with a white canvas with a few charcoal line on it so 
You can imagine, if you've got a white canvas, you need to think tonal and you have to paint them on. So, now I'm not going to be too far because here is going to be red. I've decided today it's going to be red here. So I'm just moving towards that area there and I'm going to mix brand new colors for the next step further down in the red area. palette here a basic uh, flat number eight and this one is a uh, art spectrum uh, flat again but number eight so they're both as you can see very similar in size I like those one they're nice and tight and then let's go for the amazing magenta magenta is one of my favorite colors Wow, this is going to be very powerful. But as you can see, it's a little transparent. You can see slightly the gray through it.
Okay, now I'm going to um, finish it off with the mop. Uh, with the mop, um, I'm going to make everything soft and also take the opportunity to fix a few lines. Now, when I finish off, I always just double check if there is a few things to to do to make it a little softer but it looks looks okay I left the end unfinished and that's on purpose this is the second part of three parts so the last one will be glazing have fun and see you later